Hi everyone, it's Pete coming to you from my house, uh, practicing social distancing back from Albany. We finished our work on the budget uh, yesterday morning. Wanted to give you a few highlights of this. Um, I just want to once again uh, extend my my um, best thoughts and my heart goes out to everybody who's been impacted by the pandemic. Either they've lost a loved one, uh, perhaps lost a job, their small business had to close. Uh, we've heard from over 300 of you just this week alone. Um, we know the frustration dealing with the Department of Labor. Uh, their website has been crashing. It's tough to get folks on the phone. Uh, the governor knows about this. They're working on it. Uh, but in the last week alone, there were over 400,000 claims. So it's it's been tough slogging, um, but they're working on it. And please try and stay patient. And if you can't get through uh, after repeated attempts, please give our office a call. We're, we're happy to help as well. Um, this was not the budget that we envisioned three weeks ago uh, before the, the impact of the pandemic hit. Um, in, income tax has been pushed back to July. Um, there's been a precipitous drop in sales tax with the closures of all non-essential businesses. Um, we were already facing a $6 billion deficit. So when we sat down to do the final version of the budget, we were looking at a 10 to $15 billion budget, depending on whose figures you used. So the, the budget um, has some short-term borrowing in it. We absolutely needed to borrow. It's not something you want to do, um, but to, to pay uh, the salaries of the critical New York State employees and to keep operations going. There's some short-term borrowing in, in the budget, and there are some cuts across the board. Um, with the exception of education, just about everything took a whack. Um, but there are some silver linings uh, in, in what otherwise can be termed a crisis budget. So I'll take you through a couple of the highlights. Um, we were able to save uh, education funding and foundation aid. We froze it at the, uh, the 2020 levels. In fact, our district, the 40th, we actually saw a $2.2 million increase. Granted, across all the districts, that's not a lot. Uh, but considering uh, the magnitude and billions of dollars of cuts we were originally looking at, um, you know, I, I think we ended up in a pretty good place there. Um, also proud to say that my legislation on penalty forgiveness for the Mayapak School District was included in the budget, uh, and that's a big win for the folks in, in Mayapak. Um, we also added for the first time $10 million uh, for mental health services for students in our school district, something our superintendents and school boards and educators said that we desperately needed. So we're glad that uh, that we got that money in there as well. We held the line uh, on veteran services. In fact, we were able to increase uh, veteran services. We we're able to preserve uh, the Dwyer program, which is so key, a peer-to-peer -peer program. Uh, we were able to preserve that. Uh, we were able to reinstate the, uh, the Hire a Vet tax credit program which has been so valuable at, at getting our vets jobs and, and uh, good jobs at, at that. So we're proud that we could get that one done as well. Um, we're also able to preserve the over $2 million in funding for the Westchester County Police to patrol the uh, state parkways. Uh, and we also preserved over a million dollars for 211 of Westchester Putnam. And in times like this, 211 is such a vital service um, if you need to get connected with services, um, you're dealing with food insecurity, uh, domestic violence, a host of issues, um, please contact 211. They're your best resource uh, during these difficult times. Uh, we also included a $3 billion environmental restoration bond, um, which is critical. Uh, we were able to save the $300 million environmental protection fund, uh, which is also very critical. And we added $700 million uh, for climate uh, change mitigation projects. So um, some important environmental things here. On the policy side, um, we banned polystyrene. Um, that will go into effect in 2022. We codified the governor's ban on hydrofracking. Uh, we incorporated one of my bills, a ban on gelled propane hydrofracking, which is another technique that's being done. So glad we could get my bill in there. Another one of my bills that we got into the budget um, uh, ended prior authorization or the need for prior authorization for Medicaid uh, medication assisted treatment um, for opioid disorder for uh, Medicaid patients. 
Earlier last year, we had passed my bill uh, to do that for private insurance. This does it on the Medicaid side. Um, some of the other policy things, we strengthened um, the bail reform and discovery reform uh, that we had made last year. We added more crimes back on the list to make it bail eligible. Uh, many of those came from a bill that I had, I had co-sponsored last year. We also created a $40 million fund to assist district attorneys and police departments with the new requirements of um, rapid discovery uh, in, in the court system. Um, what else did we do? Oh, the other one I wanted to mention is um, we also capped the price of insulin. Uh, that's been a nationwide trend. There's been a, a surge in the price of insulin. Uh, we think uh, many of us unnecessarily so. So there's, we've ended price gouging there. We've capped the price at $100 for a week's supply. Um, and we've also authorized the Department of Public Services to end and investigate price gouging. Um, so that's a quick summary of, of the budget. As I said, it's really more of a crisis budget that does have some silver linings. We will constantly need to uh, make adjustments throughout the year, depending on revenues, future federal stimulus money, uh, or the lack thereof of revenues. Um, so again, our team is here to help you um, round the clock. The phones are going directly to their personal cells. They're there to help you. Um, please, we can get through this. Just please keep social distancing. The more uh, we, we eat some pain right now, um, the sooner we're going to come out of this, the healthier we're going to come out of this. So please stay safe. We're here to help you if you need it. God bless you. Thanks.